Hi guys, today's video is all about teaching leveled activities and teaching students who are at a variety of academic levels. If that interests you, make sure you keep watching. And if you are new to my channel, my name is Samantha and I am the owner of ActivityTeach. ActivityTeach is all about helping other teachers with um, lesson ideas, resources, behavior management, things like that. So if that interests you, make sure you click the subscribe button. All right, let's get into today's video. So I kind of have this up here just as a guide, um, just as an example of how I lesson plan for varying academic levels of my students. So for example, the first thing that I do when I'm about to teach a new topic, I will come up with the different levels that students might be at. So for example, if we are teaching simple addition, one student might be learning about addition up to five, kind of that really, really basic addition, still learning about what addition is. Then the next level would be students learning addition up to 10 and then addition up to 20. So the first thing that I do is I come up with all of my activities for the first level. So I'll come up with maybe 10 different activity ideas or ways I'm going to teach this level. And then I will actually create the exact same activities and games and worksheets for the two other levels also because in special education, a lot of times our students are Sometimes they have to go off in the corner and do their own activity and I don't think that's right. So I really want my students to be doing the exact same um, activity as everyone else. So that is why we differentiate our instruction. I'm going to give you some examples of how exactly to do that. Here's an example of something that I do in my math class. So I decided that I wanted my students to do cut and paste activities. So here is an addition cut and paste worksheet that is addition up to five. Well, guess what? I made the exact same activity or worksheet um, at the next level. So the next level is addition up to 10 and then the next level is addition up to 20. So my students will all be doing addition cut and paste worksheets, but they will be doing it at their own level and students might not even realize they're completing a different level than everyone else. If you are interested in those, I have linked them down below in the description. I also have a free cut and paste um, addition worksheet in the description of this YouTube video also. Let's get on to the next idea. Another idea to differentiate in your classroom in, we'll say in reading class, is you can give students a completely different text to read. This way you can have a student who is on a certain level working with a certain text and then maybe a student who is at a lower level working at their own academic level. Another idea is to shorten or alter certain texts. Um, this is kind of an accommodation idea, so I do have some accommodation and modification ideas throughout this video. So for, um, if I'm teaching gen ed, I might have a student, a student with special needs who gets very overwhelmed with long assignments. So I might cut that in assignment in half for my student. Instead of just cutting it in half, you can tell students, okay, I just want you to do the even numbers or the odd numbers. Or if there's 10 problems on a worksheet, you might say, okay, I want you to stop at number five. This can really help with students who have anxiety or just get overwhelmed. Another way to differentiate and accommodate for your students is to give students multiple choice. Some students might not need any options for multiple choice. They might just be doing a fill-in-the-blank worksheet or assessment. Um, some students might need four options for multiple choice, or some students might even just need two options for multiple choice. So you can differentiate that way um, when students are completing activities or completing tests. Another idea to meet the needs of all of your students is to extend time. If you have like a timed test going, you can extend time for certain students who might need it. Um, you can also make it so that there is unlimited time. One easy activity idea that is easy to incorporate differentiation is task cards. So you can have task cards that are at different levels. You might have one student who is working on addition up to five, or you might have students who are working on subtraction. So you can put this at a center. You can have students work at their own level. Like I kind of just mentioned, centers are a great way in general to differentiate. You can have Maybe your level one worksheets are blue and your level two worksheets are purple. Well, you can tell the student, okay, today I want you to complete the blue worksheets or today I want you to complete the purple worksheets. You might have one student who's working on purple and one student who's working on blue. This is another great way for students to be working on the same thing, but at their correct level. I get a lot of questions on where can I find already differentiated um, activities? 
Well, Teachers Pay Teachers is a great place to look if you haven't already looked there. Just make sure you type in special education on the search bar because typically people already have things that are differentiated so that you don't have to spend all your time making five different activities. Sometimes it's easier to just buy things than to create all of these different academic levels. Another way that might help you differentiate is um, having students do similar activities, but maybe not the exact same activities. So what I'm talking about, here is a little example. So here I have addition, cut and paste activities. You might have students work on this, or you might have students who need four answers rather than eight answers, um, you might have them do a matching worksheet instead. Also, something that's even less overwhelming for certain students is picture addition. You might need this visual for certain students. And I also like differentiating with this worksheet too because it doesn't have the answer. Students do have to think for themselves and not just guess because we, in special ed, we do have a lot of guessing going on sometimes. And I will link all of those resources in the description of this video too if you are interested in those. I hope some of these ideas helped you. I hope you kind of now in your mind have an idea of ways to differentiate and meet the needs of all of your students. If I helped you or if you have any other ideas, please comment down below. I love to get to know you guys. You can follow me on Instagram or Facebook under ActivaTeach and I do have five different Facebook groups that are also linked in the description down below. If you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the little bell to turn on notifications for whenever I post new videos. I really truly love helping you guys so if you have any other video ideas or suggestions please let me know you can message me or comment make sure you view the description down below there are some freebies where you can grab some free math resources um, and some other things in the description happy teaching guys hope you have a great week